Lucy with Anchor Live 5. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that y'all are here today. I am going to do a tutorial with you all on the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. How to make an envelope, a piece of stationery, and what to do with the leftovers. Um, for this, you're going to need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, your We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, some um, adhesive for the extra pieces you're going to need you can use adhesive I like to use my glue gun and you are going to need um, some sort of little embellishments and where am I and I'm going to use these little gems right here so the first thing we need to do is we need to take our piece of paper, our 12 by 12, and we are gonna cut it down to make a seven and a half by seven and a half piece of paper. So just line it up. Seven and a half by seven and a half. Okay guys. You're left with three sheets of paper. This one's gonna be for our envelope. We're gonna put the small one to the side. And this one, we're going to make a four by 10. Cut it down. I'm gonna cut this one down to four. And now you have these three sheets. Save these, put them off to the side. And this one's gonna be our um, stationery. So to make your envelope, I'm gonna flip it over because I like my scores on the back. I'm going to, whoops, line it up to three and three eighths. I'm gonna punch and score, turn it, line it up. I'm going to punch and score. Line it up. Punch and score. One more time. Line it up. Punch and score. And the great thing about this punch board is it tells you everything right here. What card size, what paper size you need, and the score line to start on. I like to take the um, other side right here and I like to round my edges just because I think it make it looks a little bit nicer. You don't have to, just a personal preference. Okay, you're gonna be left with little pieces. I'm just gonna move those off to the side. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it upward. I'm going to take my adhesive, run a line on this side, and run a line on this side. Fold it over, and fold it over. Stick it down, and there we have our envelope. How easy is that? Fold down your top, there you go. Now we're going to take our 4x10 piece of paper that we had over here, and all we're going to do is simply fold it in half, line it up. I'm going to take my punch board again, the top right here, and I'm going to round my corners. Just a personal preference. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. And there we have our note card. That's it. Stick my note card in here. How easy is that? Mass produce these like crazy great for gifts, um, great for invitations, great for craft fairs, great for presents, so many things you can do with this. All right, this was one project with our 12 by 12 piece of paper. Now, I am gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna take my paper cutter again and I'm going to cut it down to six inches. You can also save this. 
And now I'm going to make one inch strips. And with this, we are going to make paper bows using our scrap pieces of paper. So you can get four bows out of this scrap piece of paper that you used. Take your envelope punch board again. We're going to go to a fourth and punch, flip it over, line it up, a fourth and punch, go down to a th three, three inch and punch, flip it over, three inch and punch. There we go. And now we're going to do the other side, line it up at a fourth and punch, flip it a fourth and punch. It's going to look like this. Now for the ends of our bows, stick it back in here. And there we go. Other side. There we go. Now we have the start of our bow. We're going to take your little, um, oh, I don't even know what these are called, the little scoring tool and you're going to roll it under to curve to make bows like the the puffiness of the bow kind of like that take the ends fold it down take the end and fold it inward not down sorry inward to where you get something that looks like this okay unfold it and all you're gonna do is flip it over and you're gonna fold it into itself where it looks like this you're gonna stick a little hot glue on each side right here you can use adhesive I like the hot glue I think it sticks a little bit better and press down Hold it just for a second, flip it over. I'm going to take one of my little gems and I'm going to stick right in the middle right here. And look at that. Okay, your bow's kind of squished now. <laughs> so you can just take your finger or take your, um, you know, any kind of tool that you have and we're just going to fluff it back up. Just fluff those sides back up. And look at that. How cute is that? And now we have a paper bow. And like I said, with that one little scrap, you're going to be able to make four of these. So now we have our note card, an envelope. We're going to make four paper bows. And we still have these scraps right here. What I like to do with these scraps is when I'm making things, I get these little bags from Hobby Lobby. You can take your scraps right here and cut it down and you can fold it over like this to make a cute little top. For your bag so you don't waste any of your scraps so there you go guys all of this was with a 12 by 12 piece of paper super easy to do I highly 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 recommend that you have one of these in your um, craft area there's so many things that you can do with it I hope you enjoy this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel go ahead and follow me on Facebook Facebook and Instagram at Anchor Life 5. And until next time, bye guys.